let's move to gradation of properties in a period and group children let us go back a little do you remember the properties of an atom let me help you jog your memory atoms have the following properties 1 atomic radius 2 ionization energy 3 electronegativity 4 electropositive character 5 oxidizing and reducing property now that I have stated them let me explain each of these properties in detail and how each one of them changes in groups or periods look at the solar system the planets revolve around the Sun on a fixed orbit right the same principle is applied to an atom in the place of Sun nucleus is present and the planets resemble electrons which revolve in the specified shell the distance between the center of the nucleus to the outermost shell of the atom is known as the atomic radius let us do a fun activity in a period move from left to right what do you notice of course I know the answer should I tell you now okay okay listen in a period atomic number increases which causes an increase in the nuclear charge and therefore pulling the electrons towards it thus reducing the radius so we can say that the atomic radius decreases as we move from left to right in a period but what happens in a group does the atomic radius increase or decrease ok I will explain this to you as we move from top to bottom in a group an extra shell of electron gets added thus increasing the atomic size thus we can say that atomic radius increases as we move towards bottom from top in a group isolate a gaseous atom remove an electron from the atom is energy required to pull the electron yes I need some energy to pull an electron at the end I find a positively charged ion the energy required to remove an electron from an isolated gaseous atom thereby converting into a positively charged ion is called ionization energy or ionization potential the energy required to remove the first electron from the outermost shell of the atom in ground state is the first ionization potential similarly the energy required to remove the second electron from the outermost shell of the atom in ground state is called the second ionization potential I'm sure you have understood it now the unit of ionization energy is electron volt or kilojoules per mole let's look at the behavior of ionization energy in various periods in the first period ionization potential increases from hydrogen to helium hey look at the helium atom it has stable electronic configuration that is 1s2 are you able to pull out electrons from helium no not really thus the ionization energy of helium is more due to the fact that it has stable electronic configuration that is 1s2 in second period the ionization energy increases from lithium to beryllium and decreases at boron from boron to nitrogen ionization potential increases and then it decreases at oxygen again the increase in ionization potential of nitrogen is due to the fact that the outermost orbit of nitrogen is half filled that is 2p3 and that makes the element stable but what happens in a group as we go from top to bottom in a group the atomic size increases thus 
resulting in the decrease of the nuclear charge. This causes the attractive power of the nucleus to be lesser on the outermost electron. Hence, it is easy to remove electrons from the outermost shell. Therefore, in a group, ionization energy decreases. In hydrogen chloride, chlorine is attracting the electron of hydrogen. This means chlorine is more electronegative. But what is electronegativity? The tendency of an atom to attract the shared pair of electrons towards itself when combined in a compound is called electronegativity. The scale of electronegativity has been set by Pauling. It extends from 0.7 in case of francium and 3.98 in case of fluorine. In a period, as we move from left to right, atomic size decreases, thus causing the increase in electronegativity. In a group, atomic size increases, thus causing a decrease in electronegativity. Now that you have learnt about the electronegative nature of atoms, let me explain to you the electropositive character of an atom. Consider sodium atom. The outermost electron leaves the orbit the sodium atom becomes positively charged. This is known as electropositive character. Thus, the ability of an atom to lose electrons and become positively charged ion is known as the electropositive character of the element. In the periodic table, the elements present in group 1A and 2A are more electropositive than the other elements present in the periodic table. In a period, as we move from left to right, the electropositive character decreases. In a group, as we move from top to bottom, the electropositive character increases. Fluorine is the least electropositive and cesium is the most electropositive element. I am sure you all remember what oxidation is, right? Consider the following question. When carbon reacts with oxygen, it forms carbon dioxide. Addition of oxygen is known as oxidation. Thus, oxidation is the addition of oxygen on a given compound and removal of hydrogen. Then you must also know what reduction is, right? That's good. When carbon reacts with hydrogen, it forms methane. Addition of hydrogen is reduction. Reduction is the addition of hydrogen on a given compound and removal of oxygen. You can say it's just the opposite of oxidation. A substance that chemically oxidizes other substances is called an oxidizing agent. A substance that chemically reduces other substance is called a reducing agent. The elements present on the left side of the periodic table, for example group 1 and 2 are strong reducing agents. The elements on the right side of the periodic table, for example group 7 are strong oxidizing agents. Overall we can say that moving from left to right in a period the reducing property decreases and the oxidizing property increases. And we can also say that moving from top to bottom in a group, the reducing property increases and the oxidizing property decreases. 
today we have learnt about the most important reference tool in chemistry you all have done a great job i hope by now you have become experts of both the old and the new periodic table this is one of the most important lessons of chemistry please revise it as many times to better understand the classification of elements